this video we're going to look on how to use multiple models checkpoints or loras to create image let me show you what i was meaning for example right here you can see we create one image they also have it multiple checkpoints and in the end we can have it the result where you can use it for different areas different loras different checkpoints to create your image well, before we begin with this, let's go with a more simple workflow. So I will take you step by step explaining how it's work. And hopefully this is will provide for you necessary building blocks so you can create your own custom workflows for the multiple checkpoints and loras to use it in the same workflow. Link for this original workflow and all documentation will be provided down below in description. Right here, you can see we have it. Uh, one of the workflow and the idea of this workflow where you can have it two different checkpoints you can actually combine them render them and in the end you have an ability to save as a brand new checkpoint which is kind of nice because if you have a best of two checkpoints and you don't want them loaded you just want to have it one you can create your checkpoint Technically, you can add more and more different checkpoints to one, kind of merge them together and create one super duper checkpoint, which will never probably load it in a memory of your video card running out of memory. So be careful on that. But in a serious note, let's look what we have in this workflow. You'll notice we have it load checkpoint as well. We have its load separate way for us. Next, we have it one, what is called model merge simple. Um, this node, it's a core basic for Conf UI. You don't need to install any specific node. When you install Conf UI, this node will include it in that core package. Next below, we have our very standard going, the clip and code the code. We have it our late and empty image creating. As well, we can have it our case sampler and via decode. So this is very basic, very standard. The only different what we have, we have an extra load checkpoint. We also have an external loaded via on this and we have it model merge. Notice we also have it save checkpoint. And this is point where you can actually go in, remove bypass and you can also save this checkpoint as you're creating and in the future you can reuse for your other projects. Well, let me disable right now. Actually, let's enable and we'll see how it's saved. So right here, you can see we have it view. Okay. Let's go right uh, magical forest. With fireflies. I know I'm spell flies wrong. There you go. Okay. Magical forest with fireflies text watermark we're going with a 512 by 512 we're using um sd 1.5 it's work on also on excel and other models but you need to be sure those models is matching by latent space and we have it um batch style four let's go just switch back to one so we'll have just one image and we'll press q okay right now you can see it's performing and we have it, our image generating by merging those two checkpoints. If we also, because we enable the save, if we go and check in our folder, you'll notice it's like it at Conf UI, output, checkpoints, created additional directory, and right here we have it, our checkpoint that's saved. It's something from previous experiment. I have it, some other ones here, but you will have it, your latest checkpoint there that you can now just use this one single checkpoint instead two. Okay, well, let's go to our next model in this case. In this case, we also going to use the in painting tool to mask specific areas. And this is progressive step to next where we're going to merge those different. So right here, you'll notice we have a little bit more complex workflow we have it load checkpoints and we're loading actually three checkpoints at this time and we're utilizing a little bit more complex logic for example we have it model merge subtract so if we subtract one model from other if it's have it um, identical and we have it model merge so it's a, you can see how it's going like 
progressive and you can have it very complex algorithms there how you what do you want to extract from specific models what do you want to put it to, together so it's a very nice way to learn how it's work but in this case it's again just example here and links down below for the way you can get all of those original examples um, with small adjustments the last one will go modify by ourselves but it's okay i'll show you how to do this right here we have it uh, preloaded our checkpoints and you can see we have three checkpoints preloaded we subtract one checkpoint from another so remove the uh, overlay weights and then we merge them together again if we need it we can save even this new but we don't understand this because we know we can save this what we're interesting in this edition right here where we have it our special um image that we preloaded and now i'm just let's go preload a new image so we can look right here we load image we have it our mask and everything calculating we have it our repeated it's for the batch if we create four or more so we can just set one and we generate so it's very straight almost what we needed here for our image notice we'll have it anime and other ones and as an example we have it anime girl and we want to place this inside our scenery well we have it our image let's create mask and we can do this by on load image right click and going select open in mask editor and here we can place it well you know what let's go put it around this area i think i'm just masking this area right here when we're done masking let's go click save and there we have it our area we want to place it Okay, now on this existing image, we'll just go ahead and click Q. As we work, we can look right there. Notice all our models was loading. Okay. And now it's performing generating. And right here we have it, our images generated. Again, four of them. And you can see in this image, it's placed for us the anime girl. The, um, in this test or this workflow step what we're learning we know how to isolate area of the image and how to place different or um, in this case merge models inside so let's go ahead to our next step from this so our goal if we look on this we have right here loaded image well, let's modify Let's go ahead and add um, image generation here, as well as a mask to do this. We'll just double time click, and we're going to set, um, let's go load model. So we we'll load checkpoint right here, okay? After checkpoint, if you remember, we need a clip. So I'm not loading any LORAS. LORAS will be similar when you place between. So then we have it clip text encoder let's go again a clip stack encoder two of them right here and next we also want to go um, load image and load checkpoint and empty so we'll do this let's go to the code put it right here we'll go to set our preview image okay right here there you go just in case so we know what we're doing here yes right there okay and we can also very easy already just go ahead and case simpler yes we obviously needed case simpler here this is very basic things to what we're doing we'll just reposition and we'll go select our model we'll go select our clip and select another clip here we'll select those ones conditioning right there we have it, our latent image which we don't need it in code because it's already there and we'll just leave it 512 by 512 we're going from this to decode and from here there so this is a very basic simple connections and we'll just connect one here and let's connect from this image to our image in here so now we need to work with a mask yes and I think we do have a special mask called it loaded mask. And we'll open node and it's called 
load image as a mask. So this is what we want to do. And you can see right here we have some image. Um, we can change. Just open as anyone. I like this node. It's a quarter node, by the way. It is mean it's enabled. And you can see as a channels, we have a different channels we can use as alpha, beta, and in some cases, of course, we can go and open in mask editor if you need it. So technically you can have it even empty image. And right here we can also just you know take and like this, create some zone and save it. So you can create the mask. So in this case, we'll take this mask and connecting to our encode. The reason why I'm doing this, we could actually skip some of these elements. I just want to be previewing right here our image. So in this case, you know, we have our all block. And let's do again, magic forest, fireflies, okay. And we'll do watermarks text you know just usual things and let's go just as a different we'll going and use maybe gemental excel so we'll use a different model dos is 1.5 this is the excel model okay we'll leave it everything default for now i don't want kind of tweak with uh, all the settings just we want to generate be sure the workflow is working so we set up this way we leave it all of this as default, same anime goal. And let's go ahead, press and Q. You know, I'm not English speaking, native English speaking. And for me, it should be Q. I don't know how words it's uh, English, sometimes very interesting language to me. Okay, and it's preloading, generating, you can see right here, we have our image generated. And of course, it's going to next and there you go. Look on this. Now we have the image background that we generated and we add over other image. And this workflow, what we look right here, you can see we have one like Excel model loading, creating their own area. We have another where we uh, set up mask. Yes, area where we want to this image applied. And inside we have a mask set, which is utilized three other models, different load right here. It's using in code for in painting. It's what we're using with the different elements and using Layton our clip for different text. Okay, going to our case sampler and where's it all generated. And right here you can see the model. So in this way you can see with in painting, we can split and generate different loras, different checkpoints and everything on different spots. So this is how you can combine. And what we've done in this specific workflow, we combine them together right in this area. Okay, so they work kind of together. And below, we separate area. And we says this combines working in one area and one total different one generate for different area. So you can see the combinations, how they can work. This is again, this is just a building blocks for you to understand how the checkpoints work together, how a specific area can work inside the conf UI. So build on this, you can build your own interesting logics. And of course, you cannot fail with this. The only one thing I suggest after you make any modifications, and you like this workflow, be sure you're going to workflow and click on save. So you save your own workflow and your place where you're going to access. On this case, if you just refresh or something happen, you don't lose your work. So after you feel familiar with this workflow, I would recommend for you to go and explore the model merging cost Excel. So you can see again, a link for these workflows will be down below to original source where I took it from. So you can work with this and you can see right here, it's much more complex with some explanation how Excel blocks. So this one, it will be very fun for you to explore on your own and see how you can integrate it. Again, it's not that complex or different from other ones. Only we have it here, model merge Excel with all this additional blocks and um, latent space where you want to kind of merge those elements. Just leave it more advanced things. Well, hopefully you find this video 
um, helpful. And if you do, please give it like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.